Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to be working with the uh, liquify mask options. So when you work with an image that contains a selection or a mask, you can um, control how the liquify command adjusts the image with that uh, mask information. So um, pretty much um, you can get more of a precise control over what portions are modified. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open up an image uh, or a document or something like that. And go ahead, let's make a selection. And I'm just going to make a selection over this fish right here. And then let's go apply the liquify. So now you can see that the liquify is only going to use this uh, set of masks, or this uh, sele or sel selection, I mean. So we've got uh, a couple mask options here. Make sure you uh, check the advanced mode button, and that'll bring up some of our mask options. So I'm going to go over some of these mask options and um, tell you what a little bit about them. So the first one we've got is replace selection. So this shows the selection transparency or layer mask in the original image. If I select that, um, that's what's going to happen there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one is add to selection. That shows the mask in the orig original image, so you can then add to the selection using the freeze tool. The next one here is the subtract from selection. That's going to subtract pixels in the selection and um, it's going to subtract them from the uh, current protection with the freeze tool. So if I let me just draw in here with freeze tool, all right, and uh, that way I can use the selection um, that way. <clears throat> and then I've got intersect with selection, and it uses only the pixels that are selected and comp currently frozen. And then the next one is invert selection. That uses your selection to invert the currently frozen area. So um, that's what I got there. And then I, I'll go ahead and apply like something like this going on here. Hit OK. And then you can see that only that part of the selection was affected. And uh, now you know a little bit more about the uh, liquify mask options. So that was a little quick uh, tutorial I wanted to go over with you. And now you know more about the uh, mask options. And it's going to be uh, helpful to you to know about those when you're um, working with a layer. So if you wanted to just uh, completely mask out the fish, you could take your time. And then you can use the liquify options on the fish. So uh, that's pretty helpful. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot.